Only a genius can beat this game, and I'm not one of them. In fact, I consider myself pretty dumb, but I wanted to test something. My goal today is to prove that being book smart isn't the same as being street smart, and that it's possible for a dumb person to beat a game made for geniuses. There are 20 levels in this puzzle solving game, and in the end, it'll give me an IQ score. To make things a little bit more interesting though, I'm only giving myself a time limit of one minute to solve each level. But for every 10 seconds that I go over my time limit, I'm going to add one extra second to a try not to cringe TikTok that I'll film at the end of this video. And if my IQ score at the end is lower than 100, then I have to post that TikTok publicly to my account with over 700,000 followers. In level one, all I had to do was put my drawing into a jar, and it was pretty easy. No, I missed. I mean, it was pretty easy. Oh my god. Okay, let me just try again. I'm going backwards. I'm going backwards. No, no, no. Okay. <clears throat> level one was pretty easy. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay. And so was level two. Oh, okay, we got it. We got it. In level three, I needed to fling an object into the pink zone, but I had a cheeky tactic. You know what? You know what? This is this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna. I'm this. I, I don't know whether this is cheesing it, but I, I'm I'm sending it. Come on. No. What? Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? Okay, let's see here. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. In level four, I realized there was a 90% chance that the creators of this game were actually colorblind. I just realized, this is pink. This is not, is this red or pink to you guys? Comment below if you think this is red. And because I knew they were colorblind, I decided to drop a bunch of triangles onto the square in order to shift the equilibrium of the Pythagoras denominator. But that didn't work. And so I drew a circle instead. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Okay, good, good, okay. In level five, they dropped the tank with a huge giraffe neck onto my screen. And so I immediately felt the urge to wrap my hands around it and snap. I realized that the wheels at the bottom were probably there for a reason. So I pushed the tank along, but it got stuck right before the end. Okay, I'm gonna redo. I had to think of a new strategy, but then I remembered a quote I was told in high school. If everything fails, just draw a triangle. You know what, let's make a triangle. Are we, do I make a triangle like this? And it's like very front heavy. Okay, one minute has passed. Oh. So close, so close. I'm just kidding. I think the quote was that triangles are the strongest shape, but I don't even know how that's relevant here. I decided to go back to my original pushing strategy and it just touched the finish line. Just like how my uncle- Oh, I did it. Oh my gosh, I did it, I did it, I did it. But wait, there was one problem here. I went overtime by 48 seconds, which means I have to add 4.8 seconds to my try not to cringe TikTok I'll be filming at the end of this video. Level six was too easy. And at this point I was starting to feel a bit offended by the game. Did it really think I was that dumb? In level seven, I had to touch an area at the top of the screen, but I couldn't draw up there. My first thought was to make a catapult and fling a little circle up there, but it kind of failed. And so I tried making a different style of catapult, but it still didn't work. Then I had the brilliant idea of making a ramp, but then I discovered I had brain damage. At this point, I realized that I only needed to make any part of a line fall into the zone and just touch it, just like my- What if I like, I, I, I can, if I can get this to go this way, then that would be amazing. No, but I can't. Okay. The reason why this strategy should work is because the hypotenuse of a triangle will always be longer than its height. I think I just gained a few brain cells there. I did it. Oh my gosh, I did it. I did it. I, did it. I finally completed it, but I went over time by 36 seconds, which means I have to add 3.6 seconds onto my try not to cringe TikTok. Level eight was kind of weird because I think I broke it. The goal for this level was to only let one snowflake into the container. I'm just gonna catch it with my hands, but it didn't work. At this point, I was kind of frustrated, and so I decided to just block off the whole thing as a joke. But then this happened. No snowflakes in the container. No snowflakes. Wait, I did it? In level nine, I had to remove this coat hanger from a hook, but it gave me some serious brain damage. I first tried to rock the coat hanger, but I couldn't get enough momentum to fling it off. But then I had the genius idea of increasing the weight of the coat hanger so that the momentum would increase. Actually, I realized that the game was the one with brain damage because it didn't work. Then I went back to one of the quotes my Latin teacher in high school would always tell me. If nothing works, just build a catapult. Let me try catapult it. You know, I, I actually like catapults. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, I, I was doing it. Wait, wait. You know, we actually had a proper catapult in one of my classrooms at school. And I'm pretty sure one of my teachers yeeted a banana with it one day. Please, please, please. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, my gosh. I completed the level, but there was one problem. I had just gone overtime by 100 seconds. And so now I have to add 10 whole seconds onto my cringe TikTok I'll be filming later on. Level 10 introduced a new game mechanic, the floating balls. I was hella confused about what to do here. The objective was to somehow get them into the cup. So if I wanted to put a ball in a cup, I'm going to grab the cup and I'm going to shift it to the side. 
Or I could direct the balls into the cup. Yes, that seems better. This seems better. Okay, yes, okay. Oh. In level 11, I was introduced to Alex, who I thought was my friend, but later turned out to be my worst nightmare. Hey, Alex, why is he standing like Karate Kid, Barry? Like, about to fight. It's like, pull up on the option that you get me. No, um, I wasted 12 seconds. Throw him up 10 meters. Okay, you know what? What happens if I just drop this on him? Bong. The goal for this level is to throw Alex up 10 meters, but I was so confused by the game instructions because even when I threw him up, it didn't even get recorded. I was wasting so much time trying to figure out how to make the score meter increase, but then I accidentally began to figure it out. Is he gonna fall off the map? Can I, can I send him off the map? This guy, honestly. Yeah, he's gone, he's gone. Bye, bye Alex. Oh, no, he's still got a little bit left. Yep, and he's gone, and he's gone. So is that, um, wait, throw Alex up 10. Wait, minus four, I don't get it. Threw Alex up 10 meters. I realized that the score would only count if you threw Alex up and off the screen, but this was pretty difficult to do since I was struggling to even get him off the ground. I'm going to do this, I'm going to wear this hat, and I'm going to draw this. Now I'm going to eat him. Mm, no. Oh, is that it? And he's gone. Is that not 10 meters? What if I like, go like this? I'm, I'm sending him 20 meters to the right, but it's still not working. Next, I tried a ramp strategy, but then I realized I had even more brain damage than I thought. After a bunch of catapult attempts, this happened. <gasps> oh my gosh, I sent him so high. And so I knew it was possible. I just had to get a good launch. This is what we're doing. Yeah, this is it. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, seven. Wait, I have to send him all the way up there? Unless I do it from this way, I like yeet him from like this. Okay, same strat, same strat, but we're going to be locking him in here. We're going to be sending him flying. Yes, okay, we got it. I think we got it. I think. No, why doesn't they go that high? Oh, wait, we got it. I got it. Okay. I finally completed this level, but I realized I was kind of screwed. I went overtime by 264 seconds, and so I have to add 26.4 seconds onto my try not to cringe TikTok. Level 12 was pretty easy. I'm just going to unscrew the cookie jar, right? I just had to lift the jar, and so I drew a hand. So this is my thumb, so this is how I'm grabbing it. And nothing happened. Okay, Okay. why is this taking so long? Let's go here, let's go like this. Yes! Yes, okay. <sighs> Level 13 was easy, because I discovered a bit of an exploit. If you draw in the air and hold your mouse button, your line will actually float. This is probably one of the most important techniques for this game, and it actually helps me out later on. This is like even heavier. Oh, I've done it. I've done it. Oh my gosh, I've done it. Level 14 was another easy level. Make the breaker touch the red area. After wasting a bit of time with my hand grab strategy, I went back to my trusty catapult. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to catapult this shit. We're sending it. Yes. In level 15, I got hit with a giant Bing Chiling. Bing Chiling, one, she won. Bing Chiling. But the level was pretty easy. I used my floating line strategy from earlier to catch the Bing Chiling. And all I had to do was wait for the ball to hit the wall. But I got a bit impatient. Okay, I just up. Okay. Mm. Should be right, yeah? Yeah. Yeet. 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 Okay, we got it. We got it. Level 16 was actually a joke. And at this point, I could already start to see the finish line. I've done it, I've actually done it, I've actually done it, I've actually done it. I've done it, oh my gosh. But then I got hit with level 17, which required me to somehow get a ball through a tiny hole in the wall. I tried to build a ramp, but that went horribly. Then I tried to build a catapult so I could throw the ball at the wall. Okay, ready? <sighs> oh, I missed, I missed. At this point, I had no idea what to do. I thought a catapult was the only way to complete this level, and it wasn't working. But then I decided to try a different type of catapult. Instead of the middle thing being on the left side, I tried to use the wall itself as the middle thing. Oh, wait, I could, I could, I could catapult like this. I could. Yes, yes, this is how we do it. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm actually too clean. I'm too clean, I'm too clean, I'm too clean. I'm too clean, I'm too clean. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is how we do it. I went overtime by 108 seconds, and so I have to add 10.8 more seconds onto my TikTok. Level 18 was pretty easy. There was a falling triangle that bridged the gap in the path. The only issue is that once you drop a white ball onto it, it blocks the path for the pink ball. And so I decided to use my floating line strategy again. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. 
Now we can, okay, this should be fine, unless I've checked it, but um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, can we do it, can we do it? Okay, I, 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 I went overtime by 30 seconds, which adds three more seconds to the cringe TikTok. In level 19, I had to get the pink ball to hit the left wall. The only problem is that the container is facing the right wall. Maybe if we do this, if we, if we, if we, oh wait, and we just yeet it like this. So I've caught it. So that it can easily touch the right wall, but I wonder. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to try flip it. After a bit of thinking, I realized I could try catch the container as it fell down and potentially flip it over. You know what, you know what, you know what I could do, you know what I could do, you know what I could do. I could do this, and I could do this. I tried using a white ball to make the container fall, and then caught it with a floating line. But my initial white ball would always get in the way of the pink ball at the end. And so I took a slightly different approach until this happened. This is it, this is it, this is actually it, this is it. Okay, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I keep missing. No, 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 no! Oh my god! What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Can this be revived? Are you kidding me? Are you- Oh my gosh, bro. I am unable to do this. I am unable- Oh, okay, I can do it. I can do it. Okay, I'm, I'm not touching. I, I'm literally not touching anymore. I went overtime by 125 seconds, and so I have to add 12.5 seconds onto my try not to cringe TikTok I'll be filming later. Now it was time for the final level, level 20. All I have to do is remove the ball, and since I already had so many seconds added to my cringe TikTok, I just wanted to finish this level as soon as possible. I would think it's pretty easy, right? Right? You just do this, right? Is this? This is literally what you do. You just make a massive weight. Okay, no, nah, okay, it's not that uh, it's not that easy. If I like, I scoop it. Oh, that could work, that could work, that could work. Okay, this looks like a massive sperm cell. So I'm going to set up a catapult. My favorite. So now I'm going to drop a massive turd here. Okay, that's just done nothing, okay. Kinda wanna like, I kinda wanna see what happens if it goes like this. Okay, what if I, what if I make it shorter? I'm gonna catch it as it falls. Okay, so I've got, I've got it like this. So now I'm gonna catapult it even more, you know? I'm gonna go like this, okay. Let's let's send it. Yeah. Oh, okay, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. I, so if I'm taking a ball out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it with my hands. So I, at the moment, I'm trying to push it out. I don't know whether this is the right tactic. Um, yeah, it's not budging. So I can push it out, grab it, and then I was trying to scoop it, but I don't know whether that works. Because then how do you get it, like, out? Yeah, so I had no idea what I was actually talking about. I was just so desperate to think of a strategy that would work. And so I started trying a bunch of random stuff. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, that actually worked. Let's, let's try this left side. Okay, I, I'm gonna scoop it, plus I'm going to give it a new axis. Oh. Okay, I think I've done it. No, I haven't. Okay, you know what? Let's build a makeshift catapult here. Big, big one. Okay. Let's, let's, I, I do believe in the scoop. Let me, let, let's, the scoop can work, okay. Let's do this, and then let's do this. It's a combination. Oh, okay, okay. This is a decent position. Let's, let's do a catapult. I love the catapults. And it's, yeet! Uh, okay, it's not working, okay. I kept going back to the scoop and catapult tactics because I really thought it was gonna work, but I was struggling. Okay, you, you, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna put a little dot there and down there. Like that. Now I'm gonna get rid of it. I really do believe in the scoop. Oh, okay, I, I think I've got it, okay. Now let's, um, let, let, let's just like, let's weigh this scoop down. So that it's like this. What if I do, what if I, honestly, what if I do this? But then I had an idea. What if I just combine my scoop and catapult strategies together? What if I just scoop against the opposite side of the jar and put a weight on the end of my line? I could just tilt it instead of like, focusing on like getting the ball out. If I, if I tilt it like this, then the ball, then, then, yeah. Then this comes out like this. <gasps> and then this is how we do it. Oh my gosh, I did it. I am too clean, I'm too clean. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. 
I finally completed the game made for geniuses and I was eager to check my IQ score, but I had just gone overtime by 440 seconds for that final level, which adds an additional 44 seconds to my try not to cringe TikTok that I have to film now. Okay, so I went overtime by a total of 1,151 seconds, which means I have to film a try not to cringe TikTok that lasts for 115 seconds or two minutes. Wish me luck. Here are some highlights, but while I'm filming this TikTok, let's check my IQ score. Remember, if my IQ score is less than 100, then I have to post this TikTok on my account with over 700,000 followers. Come on. 98? No! I was two points away 